Hello! So, we're on the live video blog. I'm five minutes late, only because I've had technical issues. Um, I started to do the live video and it just cut off. <laughs> um, so, I don't know what happened there. So, um, hello everyone. Um, I'm going to wait for a few more people to join. Um, and then we're going to discuss and talk about the basics of video blogging. Um, so, I'll just wait to see if anyone jumps on um, and then we'll get started. Um, not going to be a long one tonight, um, nice quick, quick um, video blog, um, if you want to get a pen and paper please feel, feel free to do so or the video will be available on the pages um, and our social media later on. So I am going to go through the basics of video blogging, what video blogging is what and why it will benefit you and your business. So. First of all, what is video blogging? Well, it's this, what I'm doing right now. It's you talking to your audience and followers on camera rather than a text blog um, that you post to your website or your social media. So why is it beneficial for you and your business to be doing video blogs? Well, first of all, it gains more engagement from your audience. It strengthens your brand and your personal connection to your audience and it makes you more relatable. And people buy people. And I'm going to talk about all of that in a, in a moment in a little bit more detail. But what I want to do first is just give you some facts and figures. So, first of all, YouTube has 5 million views per day. Facebook has 500 million views per day. And Snapchat has 10 billion views because they are primarily video based. And then 82% of Twitter audiences watch video content as well. So, you really need to be looking into more video content on your pages and on your website. So it's evident that everybody loves videos. So video blogging gets your content out there quicker. So rather than sitting there and writing two, three, four, five thousand words and then find an imagery to go with the, that, that content and then making sure that it's aesthetically pleasing um, to put out on your online platforms, um, what video blogging does is you, you it, it makes it simple. It you just put video in yourself and you put it straight out there. It it saves up and frees up time for you rather than sitting there and having to write a full blog. Um, not to say drop your your blogs because they're still very very important, but video blogs are an added benefit um, and complement your blogs that you're doing. It's effortless for your viewers as well. So your viewers want information quickly. They don't want to be sat reading a full three, four, five thousand words when they want to know what's going on straight away. So it's a lot quicker to watch a video than it is to read um, that text content. Um, it gives your audience an insight into you as a person and into your business and not just the products that you're selling on your online platforms and your website and the other content that you're sharing. Um, so the more human your company um, the more trust your you'll gain from your followers. Um, so even SEO loves videos as well. So if you're trying to get your website and your social media up there on on Google searches and you want to be on top on the first page, videos are the largest search now um, on um, Google. So if you're posting video content to your social media and to your website, you're going to increase your chances of featuring higher up on the Google search algorithms. So basic tips for video blogging I'm going to go through now. So choose your room and your location. So first thing is lighting. Now you can see here in this room it's quite warm lighting. Um, the reason I do that is because I like to feel comfortable when I'm video blogging and that moves on to my next point which is make sure you are comfortable in the environment that you're in when you're doing a video blog. The last thing you want is for your lighting to be wrong that and it's uncomfortable and for your chair to be uncomfortable or for the room to be too cold that you're focusing on those things instead of being focused on the video that you're doing and the content that you're providing. So make sure that your lighting is right for your audience and for your equipment that you're using and make sure that you're comfortable. And that goes with um, noise as well. 
make sure that you've not got no background noise so you'll know from the video blogs that I've done that I tend to do them in the evening that is simply because my children have gone to bed and there are no distractions so it's just me and you guys on the video and you can hear me a lot clearer and there's no other distractions the next point to make is check your equipment so whether you're using your phone or your camera make sure that you've got enough battery that you do a test video so you're making sure that your audio is working right and that you sound clear that the lighting is right and that you've got no issues with the um, actual visuals on your website so test your equipment the next part is to make sure that you set out your layout and the structure of your content now I know I've just said that we don't want to be writing two, three, four, five thousand words on a video blog. We, you still do because this is going to complement those blogs. However, with a video blog, you still need to write out a basic structure. So I'll show you mine. This is mine for tonight. Um, so the reason why I've done this is because it makes sure that it flows, the content flows, and it makes sure that it makes sense to you guys, and it makes sure that the content that I'm actually providing is valuable to you, so I'm not waffling on. Um, now... I tend to set out my content because I'm actually dyslexic, so I struggle with structure. Um, so by writing it out, it allows me to focus on the content that I'm providing rather than getting muddled up with my words. The next point to make is do a practice run. So role play it out, make sure you iron out any issues that you might have. So you might have wrote something down, but actually when you talk it out, it doesn't make any sense. So make sure you role play out before you do a video and it actually makes it a lot quicker for you as well. So when you then go on a video and particularly a live video like this one, you've already practiced it and you're only doing a one run on the video and it's saving you time. The next point, and I'm nearly there, <laughs> is to have a call to action. So what do you want your viewers to do or to gain from your video? So for this video blog, whether you're watching it live now or whether you're watching it on replay, is that I want you to do your own video blogs and I want you to try and engage more engagement on your social media, on your website, and create more valuable content um, for your viewers. And the next point is that I'm launching a campaign which I'm going to go through in a moment with you, which I want you guys to take part in, and it is about video blogging. So, the last point to make is to have fun and be yourself. So, what you don't want to do is if you're trying to be personal and be relatable to your audience, if you're not then being yourself, you're not giving the true view of you and it actually can feel uncomfortable for the viewer as well. So people that are watching now, hi Gabby, hi Laura, um, you'll know that this is pretty much me. Um, I, I am who I am. This is why I sit here with no makeup on and in my glasses because this is me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so make sure that you are yourself. Make sure that you enjoy it and, and you're having fun with it. Don't be don't be straight faced. Don't be um, non-engaging because you, if you're non-engaging, your audience is non-engaging. Now, I hope this has been helpful. Um, what I want to do now is announce our new campaign, which is five in five for five. So what that is is. I want you guys to do a five minute video blog with five questions which are posted in this in the comments of this video for five pounds. Now the first five people to send me on email their video blogs using the questions in the comments below will get their videos posted for free. Now why is this beneficial to you? We've got quite a large following, we've got quite a large community and we will post your videos out onto all of our platforms and our website when it comes up this week. Um, so that you you can advertise your business on a personal level and it's also giving you practice as well. So get Get doing your video blogs, use the information I'll give you in this video and send me them to lindsay at localwomeninbusiness.co.uk So that's five minutes, five questions which are in the comments for five pounds but the first five people to send me theirs on email will get theirs posted for free on my social media. The other thing we want to announce is, um, thanks Lara, I'm glad it's really helpful. <laughs> um, thank you for commenting, that's great. Um, the next thing we want to release and announce is that we're actually going to be doing some more in-depth training and physical um, 
workshops so online training and physical workshops this is going to include things like in-depth video blogging we'll do practical workshops about video blogging we're going to do stuff about social media we're going to get people in that know their stuff even more than me because i don't proclaim to be an expert in any of this um so we're going to be releasing dates for that we're going to come across the uk starting in the northwest with those so look out for them they're going to be um a couple of hours during the day um in a classroom setting um, to make sure that we're helping you guys to get the um, important but smaller things right rather than trying to sell you things like sales funnels and stuff it's just the, the sales funnels is great but what we want to do is make sure that you've got the basics right so that you can actually focus on growing your business so that's what we're here to do so that's what these workshops are going to be about and lastly lastly i want to go through tomorrow's video blog is going to be about an introduction into branding your facebook page so we're going to go through things like your stories and um, your content um a theme to your content and stuff like that so that's all going to be in tomorrow's blog so thank you everyone for watching if you're watching on replay hashtag replay for me so that i can see who's watching on replay um but thank you for joining tonight i hope it's been helpful let me know in the comments what you think and we'll be back tomorrow so thank you bye